Heads and hands are usually the hardest things to paint on a uh, figure, so I'm going to talk about painting hands in this tutorial. And I'm painting from a photo rep that I took of myself a long time ago, and I'm holding an awesome duster as a weapon. And I'm going to be using this chalk brush that's just a Photoshop default that has other dynamics turned on with opacity jitter set to pen pressure. And I'm just going to go ahead and start painting it in color instead of black and white. So I usually break up the hand into different planes. You can think of the top of the hand as one plane. So I'm just painting that in. It's kind of a triangular shape. And then you can think of the fingers as separate planes. And basically you have the top of the hand, which is one plane, and then the fingers are all turned down, so that's going to be another plane, except for the index finger is out a little bit more than the rest of the fingers. So I'm just going to choose a darker, more saturated color, and then I'm going to paint in these fingers all as one plane. And then for the index finger, the, the second and third phalange that are tucked under even more, they're darker and it's, those are going to be another plane. And uh, the top of the index finger is going to be lighter than the other fingers since it's catching more light, since it's angled out a little bit more. If you look at your hand a lot of times you'll notice that your knuckles are a lot more pink or they're redder than the rest of your hand. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just using a little more saturated pink color for the knuckles. And I'm also going back in and adding the lights to the hand. Like usually when I'm painting something I'll start off with a, a middle value and then as I'm painting I'll add the lights and then I'll add the darks at the same time. So I'm going back in on this top plane and adding in the lights and also painting in some of the knuckles. You'll notice from the photo rep the knuckles actually catching quite a bit of light. As always, these videos are all filmed in real time, so it, it only took about seven minutes to paint this hand in. So I was trying to just paint it in really quickly. And what I do is I usually just map out the large shapes, and then from then I start refining as I'm painting. Now for the area between the fingers, I'm going to want to choose a darker color, but I'm also going to want it a little more saturated. Like if you look at the photo ref, it's actually a dark red. And uh, the little finger is going to be a little bit darker than the other fingers because it's in more shadow. And I'm trying to pump the saturation a little bit on the knuckles since they're pretty pink. And I'm switching uh, between the round brush and the chalk brush. The chalk brush should give me a little more texture and it's the flat shape so I can map in those planes a little bit easier. So I'm just lightly painting across the top of the hand just trying to add in the colors very subtly. One of the things to remember about painting skin is that your, your skin is made up of a lot of different layers and there's going to be colors underneath the skin since a lot of times skin is pretty translucent. So you're going to be seeing colors from your veins and your arteries and all those things. I think the technical term for it is actually subsurface scattering. Now that I have the basic shape, I'm just going back in and refining the edges a little bit and paying more attention to the actual edges of the fingers and trying to paint those in correctly. So 
it's only been about five minutes and I pretty much have the entire hand blocked in and all I need to do now is just go back and add any little extra details that I want to but you know, the main thing is already there so it doesn't actually take very long to paint hands especially if you have some reference sitting beside you and if you're doing your own illustrations you know don't be afraid to go shoot your own reference because it'll really help Now the hand is going to be a mixture of hard and soft edges and since the hand is clenching in a fist you're going to have areas where parts of the skin around the fingers are going to be squished against other parts and they're going to be kind of folding out. So up here near the knuckle I'm going to have a little bit of a harder edge right where the knuckle rolls down and hits the other plane of the finger. The other thing I like to add when I'm painting hands and arms is uh, adding in little veins. So I'm choosing a blue color and it's very desaturated. It's almost a gray and I'm just going to lightly paint in these veins and actually if you're painting veins on skin, since the skin is usually an orangish color, you can actually get away with just using a very desaturated orange or even just a, a grayish color and it'll look blue just based on all the oranges that are around it. And there you go, a seven minute hand.